Thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, I'll call you in a minute. Okay, I just wanted to find out. Um, I saw this guy in the Jeffrey. So I'll call you back. I'm trying to get some security. Before, this is the before shot. This is the before shot. This is the before. Clean them up. Some of that old polish off of them. Okay, I'm showing y'all the shoe. It's not pet leather. It's a regular to McNani shoe. It's the best shoe ever. I like to shine this shoe. Because the shoe takes good shine. The shoe is actually you use dark brown on the toe. For the toe. And you use mahogany for the rest of it. So you put that dark brown on the toe. All the way up to like right here. Brush it in real good. Make sure you hit the heel and the sole with the brown. Got to hit the heel and the sole because sometimes sole dressing don't always look good on shoes because it dry up. So you got to put a shine on the heel and sole. Toe with that dark brown. Make sure they fade in that right. Then you take some mahogany and put it at the top. So it's like a fade when you finish. It shine like a fade dark to light. You also put a little dark up here too, fucking look good too on the fade. This the mahogany I'm putting on there now. It's all steps. It's no just one thing. You gotta put steps. You gotta do steps. Some people think I just put a whole shine just with one can of polish on the shoe. Nah. It's all about detail. You gotta show detail. Customers like to see detail. They're gonna give you their money, they gonna see they wanna see detail. Take that dark brown and hit the sole, the back. You got dark brown, you gotta make sure all the spots filled in. Hit that up there a little bit for it won't be out of contact. Gotta hit that good. It's like a 10 minute job, especially if you're trying to get it right. And when I'm done, y'all gonna see why this is my favorite shooter shine because. You're gonna see this shoes will light up like a Christmas tree. It's gonna be like December 24th. A whole shoe, the sole and the heel. All the inside of it, everything's gonna be shine. You hit it with that first coat, then you brush it all off. Brush it all off smooth. That's like a half shine. That's a brush shine. That's called a brush shine right there. Some airports you go to, that's all they give you is a brush shine. Just like that. You good to go. Just like that. Not here. Not here. You gotta be a little deeper than that. You gotta, you gotta see your face. You gotta see your face in this shoe. That's why I waited till I got this shoe for I can record some. I know y'all been wanting to see. See how I had a shoe shining like this, and that's just a brush shine. It's just one coat. Coat it up again, you put some more cream on it. Why you put the cream on it? Because you want that shoe to look like this all the time. The cream is just to protect it. Protect that color, protect that fade. Once you put that cream on it, it's gonna look like it's gonna shine already, but you got another coat of polish you're gonna put right on top of that cream. See, that cream just takes the polish off, smoothing it out. So you ain't packing all the polish on the shoe. You actually taking some off with the cream. And you smoothing it out. It's like painting a car. You putting layers on it, layers on it, layers on it. And that last layer is going to be a clear layer. It's going to be shining for weeks. Maybe months. Okay, that's the cream layer. After you take the cream layer, put the cream layer on, you brush it off one more time. Brush the cream lay off. Now it look like the shoe is just really, really shining. But that's not the shine though. That's not the shine I'm looking for. 
That look better than a lot of people's shines right there. That's not the shine I'm looking for. They like, man, if that's not the shine you're looking for, what kind of shine is you finna give him? Yep. This is the shine he get every week. See that? Some people let you go just like that. Smooth. The leather's been treated. That's how you can tell your leather treated good. Like that. You can take a brush shine and you can shine it with your hand. That's a good shoe. It's a good leather. You take care of the shoe. Now the last coat. Take that dark brown. Like I said, you hit the dark brown up. Hit the sole. Make sure the sole. The sole should look just like the shoe. If you're putting polish on the sole, the sole should look just like your shoe. We're going to hit the dark brown up. So hey, to look, Alex. Uh-huh. It's all crazy, ain't it? It's all that, though. You know, Dominique was over there. He had a couple mistakes. Yeah. Then you take the rag. Now it's time for the glass part. Y'all can only see I just did the dark brown with that. So you take a little dark brown. Take a little cream. Just a little bit. You just need a little bit. No water yet. Cream and dark brown. And just rub. Rub into the shoe. And just cream and dark brown. Bow. That's how you're going to get that master blaster. No water. You don't need no water because you're going to wait almost until the end to put some water on it. That cream and that polish is going to make that shine. That, that other one. Make sure you hit the sole and heel with the cream too. And I'm telling you, once this customer get out this chair, it's gonna be lit up. Make sure you get the whole shoe with the cream and, and the polish. Last time is the day, bro. Last one. Well, actually, he here just to close. Sorry about that, man. They actually all closed right now. He see me putting the love on these shoes. He wanted like, hey, man, I can't get no love. Hey. And see, I ain't putting no wad on them yet. Now, once I put the wad on, that's when the shine gonna bust out a little harder than that. That's just the cream and the polish. Then you go back to the polish and hit it one time. Then you get some water. Go around the sole, all in the instep, all on the sole. Make that shine pop out. Make that shine pop all the way out. That's how you do it. It's not, what's wrong? Is it Yeah. Yep. That's how you make that shine pop out. Whew. No change in That's how that shine supposed to look. Every shoe should look like that. Every shoe. Every shoe you should do, that's that energy you put in that shoe. See all that energy? That's energy in that shoe. See how the fade come from dark to light? That's how everybody's shoe should look, especially they McNannies. If you want some McNanny shine, you come here and get your shoe shine. That's how you get it. Look like glass, man. Glass. It's great glass. I'm going to show you something else. Turn, turn your feet to the back look at this heel. Y'all see the heel? That's a glass. That's what wow. you call glass. That's what you call glass. When that heel be shining like that, so you ain't got to put no sole dressing on it, it's glass. That buckle, look at the buckle. Glass, everything glass. The buckle glass, the, the tongue glass, everything. The whole shoe glass. That's how you work. Now that's my work. Last but least, take the buff rag out. Get that buff rag up like that. Make it pop. You just go slow. Don't do it too hard, go slow. It's like a baby. Rub slow. The softer you rub, the better that shine come out. Now that's a glass. Make that 
Rag pop. Rag ain't popping, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> that's how that shoe. That's how the shoe's supposed to look. You take the rag and then you just bring it out more. Bring that shoe out more. Bring it all the way out. Make the customer scared to walk in. That's how it's supposed to be. Don't want to walk in. Don't want to walk like in. Like water. That's how you do that spit shine. Now that's a call. That's called a spit shine. Chicago Terminal Three. <laughs> Get at me. Appreciate that, bro. Thanks, man.